Hi, my name is John Gibson. I'm with All American Roofing and today we're going to talk about the, the correct way to cut the roof shingles in the valley. So please stay tuned to find out more. So we're going to cut the, the, the uh, valley, right? Back. We'll go 40 mils. So make a mark at 40 mils. Can you see that right? Yep. So I'll make my mark down here at 40 mils. So you kind of have to find the, the center of the valley. You know, and sometimes you can mess this up. So take your time to kind of like find it. And then once you found it, mark the 40 mil. Yeah, and you're going to want it pretty tight. Yeah, and then we'll just strike it. And keep the, keep the chalk off the roof, the chalk line off the roof. And that's how it's done. The next step, we'll cut it, right? Some guys will use a knife to do this, but it's, uh, it's a disaster. Wind. Eh? Damage the water yeah, underneath. you can if you don't know what you're doing. So it, it kind of ends up being a disaster. So we just start from the top and then just cut on the line with the tin snips. Like it takes a little bit longer, but it's uh, a hell of a lot better idea, right? Yeah. So this is the face here. And once we're past that, right, you don't need to be so precise with the line. And I, I sometimes actually just go in a little bit from that, right? But then when we get up a little bit, we'll make this kind of cut so we don't have a sharp yeah. corner. Because if the sharp corner comes in on that corner, we cut the corner off. Because the water's going to come down here, it could catch that corner and kick across the top. So just you can actually get pneumatic shears. It does quite quickly. And then, that, as I say, the other way of doing this is with a knife. And it's what will happen is that. Uh, I'll just, with a hook, with a hook blade, you'll just get guys poking holes in the valley. Or themselves. <laughs> That's fairly straightforward, right? And once you get past that, just, I always cut it in a little bit. And then always square cut it. Yeah, it's, yeah, the granules. Obviously, when you get down to the bottom of the roof, you just be super careful. You don't fall off. Even if you fall off onto scaffolding, you can, like uh, with the scaffolding. That's her. That is your valley. From the, the center of the valley, yep. you just cut your mark about 40 mils out to the other side, and that creates a passage for the water to flow down there, especially if you get leaves in there and stuff. Because yep. yeah, if it's really tight, it will kick them under, underneath. And what we'll do later, once the job is completed, or near completion, We'll come in and we'll get a, uh, a tar sealant and then run a tube of caulking underneath these as well, right? But we'll do it at the end of the job.